Hey everybody, PCFCast here, back with more of The Girl Who Would Be King, a Viking Conquest playthrough, and we have just blown through a good chunk of our money setting up a wool weavery here in Kruga Kru again? Kru again? Whatever. And we've got all this wool, but we have to wait uh, 14 days for them to set up, and then we can deliver that. So we're gonna just continue. Doing our thing. Actually, you know what would probably be a really good idea is to go and deposit that, but I didn't actually see how you do that. I'm not sure if 19 for fruit is cheap. There should be in the castles, there should be a place where I can, uh, like a, a chest where I can deposit things. Oh, that's cheap. But I haven't quite found that. Oh, we got. We can do this oh. the easy way or the hard way. Really? There's only two of you. Are you sure you want to do this? I'd like you to stand here on top of this hill. I don't know what these guys are thinking. There's two of them. Against ten of us. I mean, yeah, we're mostly untrained farm hands and stuff, but no. There. There you go. Oh. Do they have stuff to throw at me? No. Oh! Oh, oh dear. That's not good. I received one critical damage from behind. Oh, here they come. Ah, that was... That was that was way worse. Yeah, you just, just pelt that bastard from behind. It's perfect. Oh. Okay, that was... Share the loot, and that's not as good as what I've got, but pretty. It's got some nice, nice style there. And more Vikings over here. Let's deal Stand with them. And deliver. I would like you to hold uh, this position right here. This terrain's not too bad. The trees are kind of a pain, but should be able to work with that. There they are on the other side of the river. Well, that's that's actually not good. I don't want to go down there. I don't want my guys to stay here. Just kind of stand on the bank there and... Well, some of them are going down and... Not listening, not doing anything sensible. did any damage at all. Ow, that definitely did damage to me. Okay. I think I lost a couple of people. Look at the look, they're actually in the water. If they're not dead, no. Nope. The camp woman and the young warrior somehow were laying underwater for the duration of most of that fight. And somehow they survived. That is how, just how hardy 
my followers have become. And that's pretty impressive. Can I upgrade any of these guys' helmets? I got a 42. Forty-three. Forty-one, there you go. One extra point. Got a thirty-eight. That's it. Oh, what's that? Being followed by four. Everything has a price, even your life. Yeah, I'd like the archers to stay here. Ready, guys. Get ready for a spear to the face. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, oh, they're they're throwing things at me. He's gonna throw that. Defend, defend. Oh, he's he's whipping stuff at me. That did nothing at all. That did nothing either. No, oh, got him. Oh, I couldn't see him with the bush. Nice! That was pretty easy. Nobody was injured. Ooh, got another peasant woman upgraded. Sweet. That's not as good as what I've got. That is... Yeah, those are actually slightly better than what I have. These are at least, uh, you know, fairly valuable. It's level 10! Alright, we are at level 10. Nice. So, let's see. We are going to want... We're definitely going to want more navigation. That's just ridiculous. We're getting chased down so bad. Uh, I can't upgrade training or... Surgery, trade, I mean, I could make more money, but we're starting to build, starting to build uh, businesses now, so trade's going to become gradually less and less important. Leadership allows me to lead more troops. Could upgrade my spotting or wound management. Riding. Increases speed and maneuver. Um, or hit points would be nice too. It's only two points though. All right, let's go with uh, wound treatment. Maybe keep my keep my guys alive a little longer. Um, let's do that. Oh, and uh, um, throwing is for javelins, darts, stones. Okay. 
That's fine, I guess. Oh, everything has a price. Poor guys, what is this for? Why are you going that way? Oh, that. I lost a camp woman already? That better not have been the one I just upgraded. That would really suck. I think they can take care of him before I get there. There we go. I think I might have lost some people. No, just the one, but... Just keeps getting upgraded and then murdered. That's not as good as what I've got. That is not bad, but not as good as what I have either. And that's the same as what I've got. But I can probably upgrade somebody with that at least. Don Chad, my friend. What have you got? Is this better than what you have? No. Um, those are not better than what you've got either. Um, you have better than that. And you already have that. Okay. Morgans. Also got gloves. Uh, he... Oh, that is slightly better than his shield. It's pretty... That's a really good uh, thrusting weapon. This is better at swinging. I wonder what they mainly use. I haven't really observed them that closely to see if they tend to, you know, swing or thrust. I mean, I they hopefully they would be smart enough to. Oh, look at that! That's slightly better than what you've got. Hopefully, they're smart enough to use, you know, to sw use the weapon the way it's intended it to be used. Maybe a rusty sword. Or a chipped sword rather than your axe. More reach. A lot more reach, actually. Here you go. Enjoy. Those are some bent javelins. As I'm throwing spears, they... They've got way more range damage. Can you, can you use that? Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, the bent throwing spears. Looking good. As Bjorn. Okay, so you've got a better weapon as it is. I can give you slightly better boots. And I can also... Could also give you a sword. It's not... Doesn't do as much damage. But again, reach, right? Yeah, no, that's good. Now, are we actually going to make it over to this village? Cheap wool and cheap cheese. Cheap everything. All the cheap. I recruit some volunteers. No one wants to join your party because they keep hearing of my people getting murdered. Am I going here? No, I'm going to make my way down there, I guess. Okay, let's... Let's go over there. 
What do we got there? Oh, they're kind of disappeared. Fried meat should be able to get a better price than that. Oh, I got some things going over here. That is extremely expensive wool. Oh, do I actually... Oh my goodness, look at that. We're completely full up. Okay, I guess we're not doing that. What we got here? We got... Um, we got some guys, but I kind of want to sell, sell off things. Eh, it's sort of following me. I might be able to track him down after selling things. Bodo, I have things to tell you. Listen carefully. Continue, friend. Madam, I should be dead, but I still live while others who should be alive are dead. I came to consider the ship that brought me north, the wooden wreck. Wooden Rick as a home, with its crews my family. So when the Vikings attacked, I grabbed my sword and my shield and prepared to defend them to the death. The Cata Cantabri Cantabrians are Christians, but some of us still remember the old gods. One in particular, Eridino? Arid I don't know. Uh, guides us in battle, and I shout his name while attacking my s with my sword. I'm not an idiot. I knew that battle was lost. We were outnumbered and they were better armed, but I asked Aridino to let me kill as many as possible before my trip to paradise. I hoped my sacrifice would allow the others to flee or cause fear among the Vikings, but these Vikings were hardened men who knew their job well. Half a dozen of them surrounded me and beat me while their companions invaded the Wodenrik and killed whomever stood in their way. I saw everyone down, the captain, the sailors, the archers that protected the boat, and I thought my, I myself was dead until I woke up in the Viking ship, tied foot, hand and foot. I was a prisoner, but thank God I escaped. Now I'm a miserable man from before... Now I am a miserable man before Aridno. Aridno. Well, whatever. I should be dead and the others alive. Now I just live for redemption. What do you mean you live for redemption? You were knocked unconscious. You must join us. Fate is written is written with blood and steel, and my redemption weaves through them both. Urudino, Urudino, I think that's how you pronounce it, has answered my prayers, bringing you to me. You will not find a more loyal companion or a closer friend. Okay, got another dude. Could hire a spearman, that would be kind of interesting. Trade with the locals. Yep. Good deals all around. And there you go. I got a lot of freaking wool. <laughs> okay, so... We just gotta ride around until we can finally unload this wool. I guess we can... I mean, we should be able to run into some people that we can... we can kill along the way. I'll take your cheap wool, or your cheap wheat. Need to set up a bakery at some point.
Oh, we've got nine Vikings. Should we do that? Hmm. Oh, I'd slip your couldn't get away from them, so we're gonna have to deal with them anyway. Okay, guys, you chill out back there. Terrain isn't exactly ideal. It's okay, but it's not great. See if I can take some of the weak guys out. What? Oh! Okay, you're done. Ah! Hey! That didn't work out so good. Okay, you're running away. Oh, that, that didn't work out so good. Okay, you're finally done, and you... Ow! My, my horse! Oh, they're kind of going all willy-nilly here. Hey, that at least did some damage. Oh, I missed. Okay, that's you and there's one guy. Oh, there's a guy running away in two different directions. Where's the other guy? There's a guy going that way? Yeah. I took a lot of damage. Oh, you know what? No, I don't want to retreat. What are you talking about? They're running away from us. Aren't they? Am I... Did I miss something? Okay. Okay, that guy went down. That was weird. Well, we're all full up on... Guys to... Um, to sell. I'm not gonna bother with that stuff. Bloody business, war warlord. A bloody business, although a necessary one, of course. Bodo, I believe, shares my ambivalence about this constant fighting, at least against non-Visigoths, as he always insists on saying. Saddens him deeply to take the lives of his fellow men, however just however just the cause. He and I have talked together of a brighter future, of a need to unite these petty warring kingdoms of Ing Inglaland, so that we may bring this time of troubles to an end. I agree. Why well, not so much for Inglaland, but for Ireland, yes. We are going to unite them in peace under my tyrannical best. It will be glorious. Wow, so much cheap. So many cheap things to buy. I'm gonna be able to supply my wool weavery for weeks to come.
Months, possibly. So seriously, no. No, there's, there's still no guy. Probably actually better than what somebody is wearing, but. Oh, I didn't mean to sell that. I don't want to sell that either. Give me that one back. You can have the wheat though. Reorganize. Oh, I guess I can go, um, like that. Oh, that's, that's an easy way to do it. Instead of dragging them one by one. Declaration of War. Remain against Northumbra. I'm gonna go there. More cheap wool. Those look good. Head over there, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna end up with so much money for be able to probably buy a new or at six thousand right once this, these things start getting going I'm gonna have enough money to build another uh, business and then I can probably I'm thinking maybe hiring a lot more believe that think about oh, and that I was thinking about maybe um Hiring a lot more men, which of course means that we will be kind of landlocked to Ireland, but we should be able to take out some of these guys a little, a little easier. No, not take that. And go unload the iron, too. Okay, well, you know what? We'll, um, we'll call this an episode. Thanks very much for watching, and hopefully soon we will be able to get that uh, wavery get going and I think I'm gonna start actually maybe I'll just go back in here see if I can recruit yep we'll take you we'll start building up my army right so we'll see you in the next episode